guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. October is over, so we are gonna have to talk about the plants that I got in the month of October. I cannot believe that it is already November. It is, this year has completely flown by. Like, please let me know if you guys agree. I feel like it's crazy that we're almost at the holidays. Like, we're almost at like Thanksgiving and Christmas time. Like, it is just bananas. It is crazy how fast this year has gone. I say that every year, but like, Man, that just feels so much faster ever since the pandemic. I feel like since like 2020, this has all been one year. <laughs> so October was a pretty good month for plants. I was able to check off two plants off my wish list strictly. I wasn't influenced on getting any other plants here and there. These are going to be some plants that are going to be a little bit of a challenge because both of these plants I have had previously, but killed. So hopefully I can keep these alive this time. Let's get into the plants that I got for the month of October. I'm gonna always do this recap, but if you're not familiar with my plant hauls and you just stumbled across this video, hi. I'm gonna go over some rules of my plant hauls in case you're not familiar. So here are the rules. The first thing is I have a loose $50 budget every month to get the plants that I want to get off of my wish list. Every month I will show you every plant that I get and in these videos whatever plant I show you first is the first plant I get versus the last plant I get is the last plant you'll see. So the first plant that I got for the month of October is this Monstera and Sonii. So this is the wide leaf version. I had the narrow leaf version a while ago. When I say a while, I mean last year. It got ravaged by thrips last year. And honestly, I didn't really love the narrow leaf look. I wanted more of that like wide leaf kind of like holy look. I actually spent a little bit on this plant. I could have gotten a, a bigger, version of this plant with smaller leaves, but I opted in for bigger leaves for a smaller plant. I actually only got this for $9, so it's really not that bad. I have it right now in this little plastic cup. I'm actually trying to start to switch my plants over to either like recycled like plastic cups, or I wanna get like orchid pots to grow them in because I actually am really loving the fact that I can see like all of these roots grow. You can really check on your plants without basically kind of seeing like, you know, you don't really have to like repot your plants to see how they're doing. If there's like a plant that might have root rot, you just pull it out of the pot. So that probably defeats the purpose of the drainage holes that I have been putting in all my pots, but it's totally fine. I mean, you can have drainage holes and still have, you know, it's like double drainage. <laughs> this cup actually fits perfectly in this planter. And also, I don't know if you guys remember this planter from the beginning of the year, but this is a Monstera planter and it matches perfectly with this Monstera and Sonii. I, I'm so excited to watch this grow. I'm going to keep it away from thrips because I do still have them. I probably always will, honestly. Like that's one of those things where like, if you have thrips in your plant collection, you probably are always going to have them. That's it. Like that's just the reality of it. They're so, so hard to get rid of. They're so resilient. It's just, I hate to break it to you. I'm really sorry if you have thrips and you're trying to battle them right now. You can keep them at bay. Um, they, I feel like for me, they come out certain times of the year and then they go dormant. So they kind of ravage my plants for a couple months and then they go away. So, I mean, I'd rather have that than have, you know, plants that get eaten all year long. <laughs> But I mean, I could be wrong. It could be just when I find them, it's around this time of year, but getting off track. So this Monster and Sonia, I got the beginning of the month. I held on until the end of the month to buy it just to truly have this as one of my plants for October. I kind of like it. It's kind of spooky. Like I kind of, <laughs> I don't know. It's like weird. Like I have like tripopophobia and I don't know why I like these plants, they have holes in them. Basically that's the fear of holes, if you didn't know that. Yeah, I just like, 
I love it. It's so cute. And the leaves are so big. I got this off Etsy. It was one of those things which I actually love this when Etsy sellers who sell plants do this, where you can actually choose the plant versus like, it's a mystery. Whenever I go to like a plant shop or whatever, I am a nightmare to shop with because I literally will pick up every single version of that plant to pick out the best one in my opinion. It's actually kind of nice to be able to see pictures of each plant and kind of choose from that. And I chose this plant, which I'm very happy about. Very, very happy. Packaging was great. I'll probably buy from the seller again. I'll link it all below if you want to check her out. But that is basically it. I mean, I haven't had it that long. I mean, I've had it about a month. Uh, I've only watered it twice. It sits in my southeast window, kind of just hangs out and it's so good. We have this little leaf growing in here. Love it, love it. I was sad to see my narrow leaf in Sony I go, but I'm happy that I got this wide leaf and I don't know if I want it to trail or if I want it to climb. I'm usually a person who loves trailing plants, so it will probably wind up trailing, but I feel like just to kind of maintain the bigger leaves, maybe I'll have it climb. I don't I really don't know, but oh, it's just so pretty. I love this plant so much. So that's the first plant that I got for the month of October. So the next plant that I got for October is a plant that I never actually thought I would have in my collection again. Never thought I would. And I don't know who I am anymore now that I have this plant in my collection. I don't know how it's gonna survive. I don't know if it will survive. I don't know what the fate is of this poor plant. So if you have care tips, please let me know. That is this orchid. I got this tiny little orchid. It's so cute. Now, don't mind the state of it. I know that the leaves are kind of wrinkly and the roots were kind of silvery, which is actually an indication that it's thirsty. I had, I have just gotten back yesterday from Las Vegas. I was out there for a week and this isn't such a loose, chunky orchid bark soil. I probably will want to put a little bit of moss in there to kind of maintain the moisture but right like that's why we put plants in clear cups guys because we can see like how cool they are but like those green like roots are an indication that they are not thirsty so i basically just kind of let this soak i put another cup over it because this has a bunch of um, holes that I kind of put in and at the bottom. So this has a bunch of holes that I kind of punched through. So what I do was actually just put this in a cup for like 30 minutes and let it soak up as much as it can. But again, I will probably repot this and put a little bit of sphagnum moss in it just to kind of maintain that moisture just because I feel like this does kind of dry out pretty fast. I had watered it just before I left and you can see that the leaves on there are very wrinkly and it was very thirsty. It's bouncing back, thankfully, but I never thought that I would have an orchid in my collection. I was walking around Lowe's before I left for Vegas and I was like, I need to get another wishless plant because I only spent $9 on my last one. Not that I have to spend my full budget, but why would I let some money go to waste? <laughs> So I was like kind of looking for another plant. I have seen Hoya Crimson Princesses off and on in Lowe's and Home Depot, like full pots. And I already have one, but I was like, I kind of want like a fuller pot. I didn't come across one because I was at Lowe's and I think I saw it at Home Depot, but I came across this little orchid. Now you see this big root system and this tiny little plant. This plant was actually, so when I bought this plant, this plant was actually in this tiny little jar. It needed to be repotted. Like all of the roots, I wish I took a video of it, but all of the roots were kind of coming out of the pot. And I kind of wanted to just tuck those back inside so they were able to get like moisture and everything. I don't know if you have to put them back, but I did just to kind of 
you know, redirect them into the pot and kind of clean it up a little bit. But um, don't mind my, my uh, philodendron brandies. They're doing something. But it came in this cute little white pot and it was very small for it. So I kind of repotted this into that and I have this plant now and I just like, ugh, I love it. It's strictly right now in just orchid potting mix. It has uh, lots of bark, chunky perlite and some charcoal. So that's really all that's in there. I have lost two flowers which is sad, but um, you know, it happens. It happens with orchids. Like I said, if you have any care tips, please let me know. If you have secrets, uh, like these orchid secrets that you <laughs> have been passed down generations and generations, the only one I will not listen to is the ice cubes because I do not believe that. Sorry, I know you guys, some of you might be gonna be screaming at me as I say that, but it's just, it's, it doesn't make sense to put ice cubes on orchids. Just my opinion. If it works for you, you keep it, you do it, great for you, but I, I can't justify putting ice cubes on it. I don't know, it's just, I don't know. So those are the plants that I got for the month of October. It's kind of a quick, short video. I, I know that I really don't have a lot to say about orchid or the insoniae. They're both, were on my wish list. I did mention a couple videos ago that I did want to get an orchid again. Um, I have been seeing them kind of popping up here and there more so. So I was kind of excited to get one again and try it out. I wanted a white one just to kind of like match my aesthetic and stuff. Who knows if I can keep it alive because it's just, orchids are tricky. I got gifted an orchid years ago. This is like, when I lived in an apartment before I bought my house and it, it didn't last long. <laughs> I had an orchid and a money tree and both of those plants are on my wish list. Well, now the orchid's not, but they were on my wish list and they both wound up dying and it was very sad. So I'm little by little getting back into it, <laughs> but yeah. And then the Insoniae, I just, I really wanted another one. I've been really loving the Insoniae. I've always loved them. It just, I was so heartbroken when I lost the one to Thrips. It was just so overly infested that it was just not even worth trading. It was just so bad. And I tried to like wipe the leaves off and stuff and the leaves kept ripping because they're holy. It was just not a good situation so i had to toss it unfortunately so my grand total for this plant haul is 28 dollars even which is incredibly low for me my track record is usually over budget so that was kind of nice to kind of stay under budget it was you know gave me a little bit of room to gamble in vegas but yeah i mean like I feel like I got some really good plants for under budget. A lot of my plants that are still on my wish list are kind of more common plants. I have a, um, a Monstera on there that's kind of, you know, not super high budget. There is a plant that I've been eyeing at Equigeria that hasn't just been, hasn't been in stock for a while. Um, hopefully I can get that by the end of the year. Thank you guys also for all these suggestions that you gave me in my last video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys um, giving me suggestions and stuff. Sometimes when I make like videos, I don't sometimes know what to say or what to do. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I wing it <laughs> when I jump in. I jump onto the camera and I just wing it. I don't have a script that I write or anything like that. I really appreciate you guys kind of giving me a little bit of insight on what you guys want to see because ultimately you guys are going to be the ones watching my videos. So, you know, why not get your guys' opinion because your guys' opinion matters the most to me with my videos. I'm really excited to see what next year brings because I do have a really, I did get some really great suggestions. Like I said, I probably won't be keeping up with my plant hauls all next year, but I definitely will do some kind of schedule with my plant hauls, maybe every other month or something like that. Um, show you what plants I get 
you know, quarterly or something. I don't know. I think it will be a little bit easier on my plant collection. Uh, really like, that's really the only thing is just like, I'm kind of running out of space. Um, but yeah. That's basically it. Let me know in the comments, as always, what plans did you get for the month of October? And yeah, so I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.